Befriend with the targeted people, drug them, and murder them with no shame. How a serial killer took 33 lives. All 33 were truck drivers or their helpers. A.A. Dash Cameron is one of India's dangerous serial killers. A man with a high IQ and gift of the gab to mislead the cops, the 48 years old, loving father, evaded suspicion, until his trusted partner betrayed him. Until 2007, Adhesh was a popular tailor in Mandideep, an industrial town 15 kilometers from Bhopal. Originally from Sialkot in Pakistan, A.A. Desh's ancestors had been allotted land in the town. Master G was a magician. He didn't need to take measurements of his customers. He would simply cast a glance and tell their specifics. But A.A. Desh wrapped up his business after a souring relationship with his father Gulab Chand Kamra, a retired sergeant in the Indian Army. marriage wasn't going very well either. A.A. Desh's father was a very strict man. He wouldn't hesitate from slapping A.A. Desh over trivial issues even after marriage. A.A. Desh left Shada and their five children, and moved to Maharashtra in 2005. He set up tailoring shops in Pune, Nagpur, and Bandara, but somehow his skills did not impress customers anymore. It was in Bandara in 2007 that A.A. Desh was involved in his first criminal offense. A local goon had bullied him when asked to pay for his tailoring work. A.A. Desh responded by attacking him with a brick. During the few weeks that he was jailed for that assault, A.A. Desh allegedly ended up befriending some petty criminals, who would sporadically rob truck drivers. After their release, they all formed a gang, they would rob trucks but spare its drivers and cleaners. A.A. Desh did his first murder when they trapped a truck between two cars in Udaipura, killed its driver, and made away with the goods, which was sold for eight hundred thousands. The money was divided among all eight members of the gang. The case had remained unsolved all these years, until his arrest. His second and third murders were allegedly of a driver and a cleaner in Sona, near Pune. In his second and third murders were allegedly of a driver and a cleaner in Sona, near Pune, in 2009. It so happened that the leg of one of the two corpses kept in the truck was repeatedly interfering with the vehicle's gearbox. An angry A.A. Desh pulled down the two bodies, took the driver's seat and crushed the victims under the truck's wheels. Over the next six years, A.A. Desh and his gang allegedly killed ten more truck drivers and cleaners, most of them near towns in Maharashtra. Between 2010 and 2014, he was arrested four times for murders in Maharashtra and spent a total of four years and nine months in jail. Since many other criminals would be arrested along with A.A. Desh, police saw him as an accomplice, not as a serial killer. Soon, regular court hearings and interactions with lawyers taught him the functioning of the judiciary. He knows about strong evidence, case diaries, charge sheets, the significance of witnesses, and how to get court hearing dates deferred and seek bail. In other words he was getting training to deal with the case in Indian courts. By 2014, A.A. Desh had realized that operating with a large gang meant a smaller share for each member and a higher chance of getting caught. He also didn't like the risks associated with chasing and intercepting a truck. So he quit the gang and began operating with just one other accomplice, who was needed to drive the robbed truck. Together, they would scout for drivers who were set to return to their hometowns in empty trucks after dropping goods off. A.A. Desh would target such drivers. A.A. Desh would befriend the truck drivers and cleaners by promising them fruitful return journeys, offer them something to drink, laced with sedatives, and kill them by strangulation. The trucks were allegedly sold to gangs in northeast India. 
from 2014 to this September 2018, A.A. allegedly killed 23 people, but was never caught. Barring one, they were all truck drivers and cleaners. That one was a contract killing in late 2017. By then A.A. was such an expert at leaving no evidence that the bottle police had assumed the contract murder to be an accident. He befriended his target, offered him a drink laced with sedatives, and once the man lost consciousness, allegedly dragged him to the railway lines, placed his body on the tracks, and watched until a train beheaded the man. In September 2018 one of Adesh's friend was arrested by the police in a case of robed truck. During investigation from his friend, revealed the story of A. A. Desh. A. S. P. Kaushal, Madhya Pradesh Police, led a five-member team to arrest A. A. Desh after his friend's story, from outside Adaba in Piplani near Bhopal on September 7. He seemed briefly surprised, but unfazed. He was so confident, that police initially suspected that his friend had misled the police. When the police checked A. A. Desh's past record, they discovered his role in the murders of eight drivers and cleaners. It took the police four days of intense interrogation to get him to allegedly admit to other murders. Kindly don't forget subscribe and like our channel for more thrilling stories of serial kids.